morning. Time now for Doc Talk as we welcome to the studio Teresa Perkins with Woodlawn Hospital. Good morning, ma'am. How are you? Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm doing great. Tell us about yourself. Well, uh, I am a nurse practitioner in orthopedics at Rochester Orthopedics Woodlawn Hospital. Okay. And, uh, what got you started? What uh, In high school, obviously, uh, you had to have some interest in uh, being a uh, nurse. Right, right. I had a cousin who was about 15 years older than me that was a nurse, okay. and she was kind of my mentor, and so I knew very early on that I wanted to be a nurse, uh, and then went to nursing school, and it just kept rolling after that. <laughs> so. Obviously, you probably uh, started uh, just about seeing everything and then got into a specialist with ortho, or did you start with ortho? Right. No, I started off in medical surgical where a lot of nurses start to kind of get their, get their uh, feet wet. Uh -huh. And then uh, I went to surgery shortly thereafter, about a year in uh, med surge and then went to surgery. So I was used to working with surgeons and um, the surgical side of things and recovery and and day surgery, that kind of thing. And so when I went to do my master's, uh, I knew when I was done that I wanted to work <laughs> in a surgical practice. Cool. So. You uh, began working with Woodlawn in 2005. And so uh, uh, did you start right in at ortho then? I did. Okay. I did. I had done some clinicals actually up here okay. I'm from Peru. Ah. And um, I did some clinicals up here because I was going to get married and move up here. And so uh, I did uh, some clinical uh, uh, site work with uh, Dr. Ronback okay. and really enjoyed working with her. Uh -huh. And so unfortunately, she's not with uh, our practice anymore. <laughs> she's out of state. but. Um, and uh, but I learned a lot about ortho from her. Uh, what was what's probably the best thing that you get uh, working with ortho? I mean, what's what's your enjoyment of that? I mean, a lot of satisfaction in orthopedics mm -hmm. because uh, people come with uh, problems that usually we can fix uh, right. one way or another. <laughs> whether it's uh, medical management of arthritis with injections or therapy, those kind of things, fractures they get. Uh, casted or fixed surgically, yeah. those kinds of things. And so um, total knee and total hip replacements, total shoulder replacements where people, uh, uh, you know, come in with a problem that we can eventually yeah. fix. And so that's very satisfactory. Been, been Some of these uh, patients been in pain for years and they uh, walk out pain-free. Well, <laughs> Well, you know, maybe not the same day, yes, yes. but, <laughs> and but on that's the goal. Cool, but some people yeah, might, you know. Yeah, and that's that's the goal. We have yeah. a lot of uh, options that, uh, even non-surgical yeah. options that can really help people's quality of life. Tell us, uh, obviously, uh, tell us, walk us through a typical day. What 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 do you, you know? You obviously, you get your coffee and get you going in the morning. But right. then once you get to the office, what's a typical day for ortho? I have, I work three days and okay. I work uh, clinics, mm -hmm. so I have a schedule and then there are people that sometimes show up that we add in or there's, you know, calls from family practice or referral physicians that want somebody seen. Mm -hmm. um, if there are people who are still in the hospital, let's say had a surgery a day or two before and are still in hospital. Um, myself and the other nurse practitioner Jenny Hensley sometimes we will round on those patients mm -hmm. if it's time for discharge or referral we'll do we can do that yeah. um, and uh, we see patients anywhere from uh, my degree is an adult nurse practitioner okay. so I see patients uh, 13 years old and older okay. and so um, I see uh, some teenagers with uh, maybe sports injuries mm -hmm. things like that um, and I see a lot of patients with osteoarthritis, uh, and I see follow-up fracture mm -hmm. care, those kind of things, surgical follow-ups, yeah. and that kind of thing. So, obviously, uh, you you don't want lingering pain, so obviously you want to come in and, and at least get an evaluation if it's something that you guys can can help with, because obviously uh, sometimes the longer they put things off, the worse it ends up being, and, and may have to get into surgery where you wouldn't have had to if they came early. Right, exactly. And and that's, you know, the message that we want to get out to people is that, you know, so many of our surgery patients or even patients that were pre-surgery that uh, did some non-surgical medical management of their arthritis and fractures and things like that 
um, see Jenny and I and we can do a lot of things to help them out and if it gets to a point where they need surgery then they get their right. appointment with Dr. Sheedy but there's lots of things in orthopedics that are not surgical mm -hmm. uh, right out of the gate so I know uh, you, you keep talking about uh, uh, arthritis and a lot of people uh, think that that's you, you can't fix that but there there are some pain management things that uh, you can do for that yeah, there's um, anti-inflammatories like Advil, Levi, Ibuprofen can be really helpful for arthritis. Unfortunately, there's lots of patients who take medications for heart or, or whatever that um, may not mix with those well, so we talk about that and what some of their options are. Uh, Over-the-counter things, there's physical therapy, there's bracing, there's um, uh, weight loss can be helpful for arthritis pain as well and um, there are cortisone injections or lubricant injections in the knee joint in particular that we do that can be very helpful for people. Tell us a little bit about uh, Teresa in general. What do, you, what do you like to do outside of work? Oh, uh, we like to camp, uh, my husband and I, and uh, we have a little camper and we try to get out in that as much as we can, even if it's a short weekend. Uh -huh. And so we like hiking as a result, going to the uh, uh, the parks, yeah. national parks. Mm -hmm. We've been to uh, cool. several of those and that kind of thing. So um, we're pretty involved in our yeah. church and ministries there. And I'm also involved in Fulton County Hope ah. on the board there. So uh, get involved in community here as well. What's the what's the best national park you've been to so far? Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, put you on the spot. <laughs> oh, that, one's, that one's tough. Uh, of course, Yellowstone's an amazing one everybody yeah. knows about, right? But um, the, uh, I'm trying to remember, we've been to Alaska, we've been to Montana. Oh, wow. Sometimes I get those sort of mixed up <laughs> on which park is which right, but, right. and where they are, but because I'm not super geographical. <laughs> uh, so, but what, yeah. What's one or two on your bucket list yet that you haven't made? Oh, wow. Um, we are going to actually go uh, later on this year to um, Banff. Okay. Uh, National Park up in Canada. Oh wow! And so that's going to be uh, exciting. Yes, and that so is, that was uh, kind of on the on the list there. Yeah, there you go. That's kind of cool. It's always fun to talk about things other than work all the time, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah of course, of course. <laughs> Obviously, as you uh, get going, uh, let's give the office number and, and the phone number that uh, they can get a hold of uh, to make an appointment and and if they've got questions to get a hold of you. Sure. Uh, it's uh, 574-223-9525. All right, uh, perfect. Schaefer Medical is where we're located and uh, right on the hospital campus. And you can call and make an appointment and be happy to give them an orthopedic evaluation. If someone's listening, and, and, and what, would, what would you say, uh, if you had to give them some advice just right now, what would you, what would you say to them? Someone listening that maybe has an a ache or a pain that they're not sure about. Yeah. I think that um, you know some people can start with their family care provider uh, and discuss that mm -hmm. uh, and see if that's something where they might uh, be referred to orthopedics for further evaluation and care in the orthopedic side of things. Um, but if they don't need a referral and they have some concerns about uh, or have some questions, happy to meet with them and discuss that further. Awesome. Well, Teresa, great to see you. Nice coming in. Thanks for coming in. And uh, hopefully there's some people out there that uh, you, we've uh, answered some questions to and you'll get some phone calls. Excellent. All Thank right. you so much. Thank you. Teresa Perkins with Orthopedics at Woodlawn Hospital. Again, thanks for joining us.